Hi, this video is for um, students who would like to make up absences in oral English in A1 and B1 classes. If you want to make up absences, you can do these activities. And the due date of Shime Kitty is the end of the month, January 31st. So click and open up, and we have a list of activities you can do. Please start with number one and then continue on to number two, three, four. Don't jump around and do different numbers, but continue from the beginning number one to the highest number, 20. So the first the first um, activity is 10 top rated tourist attractions in Japan. So we're going to open the link and please write your student number, and your name, and Romaji. Now, for some reason, if you can't, cannot um, go on to the next screen, it might be because you've already entered your name before assignment once. Just try to add a number after your name, and you should be able to enter. So when we enter, we have one, two, three, four, five activities to complete in the 10 top rated tourist attractions in Japan. So um, the first activity, if we click, you can see there's a text and you can also listen to a recording. Japan is home to a wide array of sites and attractions that lure millions of visitors from around the world. If you're looking forward to adding Japan to your bucket list, here is the list of 10 top-rated tourist attractions in Japan. 10. Fukuoka Castle was built during... And you can read it all the way through listening, if you'd like to. And um, when you go to next, a um, the same reading. But this time, some of the words are... A little bit, some of the little bit difficult words are um, translated for you. Sometimes the translations will be in Japanese. Sometimes the the definitions will be in English. It depends on the on the activity, either in Japanese or in English. After you finish that, you'll have um, a series of vocabulary questions. So. Look at the look at the uh, word, and think. What do you think is the correct answer? Um, and try to answer as well as you can. If you want to, you might even use a dictionary, or your smartphone, to um, to try to find the answers for this. Now there may be only ten vocabulary words, or in some cases there may be maybe 50. It's always case by case, depending on the difficulty of the reading and the topic. After you finish the vocabulary, you have a sentence uh, combining activity. Now, this, you have a sentence that's been broken up into four parts. Now, one hint here is that if you look for if you look at a sentence, the first word of the sentence has a capital letter or omoji. And the last, so this one here, if you're looking forward to adding. And if you're looking forward to adding Japan to your bucket list, tourist attractions in Japan, or is the top, probably adding Japan to your bucket list. Here, tourist attractions, no, we need a verb, is. But you can also notice that um, this word, this word, this part here has a period at the end. So just like the if with the, with the omoji, I will give you a hint about the beginning of the sentence. The period will give you a hint about the end. Um, sometimes the proper name of something also has an um, omoji or capital letter. But one of the most romantic views is of the famous 
Niju Bashi Bridge or Devil Bridge, so named for its watery reflection. Now, if you make a mistake, you can't correct it. So just go on to the next one. And uh oh, one GT, the volcano's exceptionally sy symmetrical cone. Okay, we have a, we need a verb like is a symbol. Uh, is the symbol of Japan, and we have the period the last one. A golden pavilion is the name of a place, so of course it begins with om omoji G and omoji P, but the omoji T is um, tells us it's the beginning of the sentence. The temple of the, well, what kind of temple? What's the name of the temple? Golden Pavilion. We know this is the last one. It is the most popular tourist attraction in Japan in Kyoto. After you finish and you confirm the assignment, you can get feedback about how you did, what your your score is sixty percent. Um, please try to get a six score of sixty or higher on every activity. If you don't get a score higher than sixty, so sixty or higher on an activity, go back and do it again. You may have to change your name a little bit by adding um, 01 or 02 to your um, student number and name the next time you input it. But, and then finally, go down the bottom. We did pretty good. Next. Next, we have to listen and write in the missing words. Japan is home to a wide array of sun. To a wide array. Of sites and. Sites and attractions that look. Attractions. So in this case, we'll just go through the, the, the whole thing. Slowly. Or millions of visitors from around the world. If you're looking forward to add. If you're looking forward. Notice if I keep typing, it will only take looking. I have to click again to write it forward. Adding Japan to your bucket list. Here is the list of 10 top rated tour. 10 top rated. Okay, and you can continue on like that. First attractions in Japan. 10. So. I'll just go through this very quickly and go to next and confirm. And I only did the first one part of it. So you can see again, we get feedback here and my score is only 10. So I need a score of 60 or higher. So I should go back again and do this properly afterwards. Um, this next part is a speaking part. And what you'll do is listen. Japan is home to a wide array of sites and attractions that lure millions of visitors from around the world. And then try to say the same thing into the microphone. Now you may have to click on allow or kyoka to allow your microphone to work with this software. Japan is home to a, a wide array of sites and attractions that lure millions of visitors from around the world. Click off, and the software will try to recognize what you said and check it. Oh, I got everything. This is, oh, Fukuoka Castle. Fukuoka Castle is a Japanese castle located in Fukuoka, Japan, and was built during the start of the Meiji era. Hmm, how will I do? Sometimes it takes a while to recognize, especially for the longer sentences. Oh, okay, I missed a little bit in the first part. If you want to try again, you can listen. 
Fukuoka Castle Fukuoka Castle is a Japanese castle located in Fukuoka, Japan and was built during the start of Meiji era. Now, if you notice that maybe one reason why I got these two words wrong in, in, in orange is because the original pronunciation is a little bit strange for, for the onsei file. Fukuoka Castle. Fukuoka Castle is a Japanese castle located in Fukuoka, Japan, and was built during the start of the Meiji era. So I might have to say it a little bit strange to get a higher mark. Will it work? Ah, the first two Fukuokas were okay. The, the middle one was not. And then, as you can see, I can find out the words I had difficulty in pronouncing. Again, my score is only 39 point, um, 30, 39. So I would have to do this again the second time. And the second time, maybe change my, put my number, my name, and add a 01 or 02 so that I have a new um, chance to do it. The next one is reorder the following passages. You notice there are paragraphs here or chunks of text. What's the first? Now, one, one thing, if we have 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So we know that those are not going to be first. The first one is going to be this one. Japan is home to a wide array of sites. So um, when you read this, think about the meaning. Now, um, one of Tokyo's most is a famous hot No. UNESCO World Heritage Sites, no. Of Nara, no. Japan, no. One of Tokyo's most famous landmarks is okay. So, famous landmarks is second. Jigokudani, this is number seven. What is Jigokudani? Oh, huh. this is also in order too. Okay. The lovely, all of these are actually in order. Oh, no, actually, this one, the lovely unspoiled city of Nara. Um, Japanese Alps boast a number of outstanding areas of natural beauty, many of them designated as national parks, or in some cases, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Okay, the connection. Okay, um, Mount Fuji, this is two, and then one. Notice we went from 10 to one here. You can check. After that, some of them may have questions about the, um, what's the number one tourist? The Golden Pavilion, King Kakuji. Imperial Palace is surrounded by walls and moats. Submit the assignment. We only had two questions here. My score is 100%. Very, very good. Next. Next, each section will probably have this kind of uh, activity. Record your opinion. Two minutes plus. So after you know, you've read the story about the 10 um, uh, best rated, highest rated tourist spots in Japan. And you should, you've also repeated some of the words in, in the pronunciation part. So you should know the story fairly well. Think about what did you, what was your opinion of the story? Don't summarize the story. Don't tell me what it said, but tell me about something that interested you. What about something surprised you? Or maybe you agree or disagree. Maybe you think King Kakuji, the Golden Pavilion, should not be rated number one. The other thing you can do is share a story that the lesson reminded you of. For example, maybe you visited um, one of these 10, 10 sites in, 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 uh, during a um, high school trip, and you can talk about that for two minutes. So again, like the re <coughs> repeating the recorded uh, sentences, click on, and you may have to choose Kyoka or Allow, but in this case, we already did it. And you have three minutes. Now, talk for about two minutes. So um, I think that that um, the Golden Pavilion 
or King Kakuchi is not number one. I think that really Kiyomizu Dera is much, much better than the Golden Pavilion. And notice as I speak, you can see the time that was left. If you want to speak for more than two minutes, this timer started at three. So watch the countdown until you get over one minute and then you have a two minute um, time period. Click on stop when you're finished. If you want to, and you may have to choose Kyoka or that um, the Golden Pavilion or King Kakuji is not number one. I think that really Kiyomizu Dera is much, much better. So once you check, make sure your, your sound is okay. Um, you can cl click on next. If your recording was not okay, you can click on record again. Reset and click on the microphone. I think that that um, King Kakuji or the Golden Pavilion is really boring. I think the best place in Japan is Kiyomizu Mizutera. First of all, it's in a beautiful location. It's very big. And once you enter the temple, you can see a beautiful view. Blah, 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 blah. When you're finished, phone check. I think that, that um, it's good. Okay. So I'll go on to the next. Confirm. And now this is being uploaded to the site where your teacher can listen to it and give you a grade. Um, well, I think that, that um, you notice this time I only did 18 seconds, which is not enough. So, um, oh. How many seconds? 22 seconds. So try to record longer than two minutes. Okay, congratulations, you've completed the lesson. When you've completed, ask your teacher for feedback and they'll tell you if you are successful or not. Great. So again, um, we started off by entering Moodle, going to our homepage for the class, if you are absent and want to make up absences, please do these activities. Choose an activity. Oh, now, I made a mistake because I didn't choose the next one in a row. I finished one. Next, I have to do two. Can a robot pass the entrance examination and continue on like that? Good luck. Thanks a lot. And Looking forward to hearing your responses.